What is up, Epic Clone Hero Gamers? Mad Money here to tell you about today's sponsor, Fuel. Do you ever wish that you were, uh, not shit at Clone Hero? Do you wish you were better? Faster? Do you wish to piss off Texture of Couch by spamming even better? Wait, do people even remember that guy? Fuck, I need a more topical name. Alright, uh... Yeah, let's go with him. Do you wish to piss off Archwick by spamming even better? Then Y Fuel is the product for you. Thanks to our incredible genetic infused ultra hyper caffeine, all of this is within reach. Just ask our happy customers. Y Fuel's great. I managed to finally FC Jobber with it. When do I get paid? You, sir, right there. What do you think of Y Fuel? Uh, uh, drink. Uh, I'll let him play Clone Hero, but, uh, I guess it makes One Piece fellow watchable, I don't know. So order now your can of Y Fuel. Be sure to use discount code CYREX for 20% off shipping and boost your genetic today. Warning, side effects may include slide tapping, chat raking, excessive wheat tar shopping, becoming a furry, portal organ failure, cheat engine usage, pangarefsy. Do not consume more than two cans of Y-Fuel for 24 hours. Consult your doctor if you consume marijuana, as you may have a leaning syndrome from drinking Y-Fuel. Currency containment incorporated is not responsible for any damages or liability. Not available for sale in Vermont, South Dakota, or Wyoming. Hey guys, Matt Money here, and welcome back to another edition of Plastic Instruments Monthly. I hope you all got your cans of Y-Fuel out already, because we're about to jump into the custom songs of this last August. Starting off today, we have who else but Thing or Thing, who released two songs, Fractional and Defeating the Toads of the Apocalypse. While the former brings a crunchy drum and bass groove, the latter brings a great midi metal feeling fresh from a doom mod. Whichever you prefer, I'd highly recommend checking them out. Slide Whistle released Waving, a short two-minute custom that nonetheless manages to pack some tricky patterns within. On the topic of short songs, there's also Hyperworld by Hypnovia. Coming in at only 47 seconds long, this apparently grade 9 puzzle chart can and will throw you for a loop. Rounding out our main songs for today is Chaos CH, with Chaos's Heaven 4, A Golden Heart. While playing the expert chart is... ill-advised, this courting monstrosity does in fact come with a hard chart. And finally, the prod homies are back again with another track pack. The theme this time is classic GH remixes and covers. 14 different songs await you should you choose to download. I cannot recommend this pack enough to all of you out there. Some of these really reimagine the original songs from the ground up, and they sound great. So yeah, a bit of a calmer month for customs, that's for sure, but still some great songs out there for you all to try. Links are down in the description, as always. This is Matt Money, signing off. So. August Annihilation. So much shit happened this month and I am so proud of the community, but what the actual fuck y'all. I'm Jinji again, you know me from last month, so let's jump right in. Starting things off with an honorable mention we missed from last month, Artemis got the first ever tech FC of Egoless on medium difficulty, and in only 33 parts too. Crazy. We'll start off this month's news with the news everyone's been talking about, HL. 
Frith got the first ever FC of this grade 20 tapping monster. A feat that no one else could dream of. Fucking fantastic job, Frith. And that's not even the only HL news, as four other people teched it this month. Three, the creator of the song, Jake CH, Ledmo, and Radial, who did it thumbless. Absolutely amazing work, all of you. But that isn't even all of the HL news, as yours truly got a three-part tech FC of the hard chart at 125, which is deceptively difficult. From here, we'll move on to the other completely insane thing that happened this month, Keystone Uber Solo. Relentless managed to grab the first ever like an absolute god, making him the second ever player to get a grade 20 FC. He also broke the curse of him being on the verge of a bunch of grade 19 plus FCs and having none of them. We also got a tech FC of Edgelord, which is incredible, amazing job Relentless, FC 9 Patterns of Eternal Pain. Now that the super major news is out of the way, we'll be going in eh, roughly chronological order. Starting with Quacky, who got Mechanical Madness Plus, fucking damn bitch. Borealis made a minor return of sorts with 666 flags at 175% speed. Hope to see more from him. On to the Lean and Ian chain this month, Quacky also got LXR's Inferno, a chord sliding nightmare, followed by Lean getting it on 115, followed by Ian getting it on 125! What the fuck? <laughs> Ian also got Full Juice Hell, a chart made by Lean that's basically Half Juice Hell with the patterns at double the speed. Crazy accomplishment. Nick Dude got Waving My Dick in the Wind at 150, I can't comprehend that. Bronto got Egoless Act 3 on hard, and that makes me super excited to see them take down the full series. Elusive got Radio Song at 320, we have a new speed up god around the corner right there. Radio completely popped off with Afterlife at 250, a technical nightmare, as well as BYOB at 150. Tenno got an Egoless Act 9 tech, holy fucking shit. Um, Apps GH got Ed Trio, proving they're ready to become an up-and-coming player. Gently finally got Solus 3, finishing up a massive saga of his, which is super awesome to see. Hafju got a couple things, Acid Rain, On Acid, and Hanukkah 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 Overchart. Sableye showed us some massive strumming improvement with the Circle on 3-Legged Workhorse 110, both crazy accomplishments. As for full albums this month, Pepper got Wake by Hail the Sun, Urinator got Twilight and Olympus by Symphony X, and Bradmaster got I Worship Chaos. All insane consistency achievements. Super proud of y'all. Let's do another quick fire round, because this month has a lot in it. St. August got the Space Race B6 on your chart, Bradmaster got Shredding the Envelope, Stellaro got Hypnotic, Amber Sky teched Panger at 130, XD Maxo Gaming got Infernal Tester, William CH got a tech FC of Plumato's Hell 5, which is crazy. Edu got Lobotomy for Dummies and D's Pre Meme. Remix got Death in Reverse. Jerido got Enough Effort. Damn, bro. Red3571 got Enigma at 150. Tyler got Please Don't Leave at 115. And Bo CH got an FC of Cordial by Sucky. Incredible work, all of you. Gently also made the ultimate guide to tapping on Clone Hero, a monster of a video that just demonstrates all the tapping methods. It's really cool. Now for the montages of the month. We have what 10 years of Guitar Hero looks like from Cyan Cran GH, more clips and tech Minitage 23 from William CH, Content 6, the finale from Drowsy, five cool clips from Tenno, Scrapped Montage Clip Dump from Olivia, Gingetage 2 from me, and Minitage 3, Boredom from Reptar CH. Rounding things off with one of the most infamous songs in CH history, Dicko Mode. Asai finally decided enough was enough and grabbed the absolutely insane FC ending the meme. Amazing job, Alec. That just about wraps up CH news for this month. I'll pass it over to Steph as usual for console. Thanks, y'all. Hello, everyone. Steven here to talk about the console scene for this month in August. Starting off, we're going to turn to the first place category. The first accomplishment on the list is a full ban FC of this calling on Rock Band 4. It's pretty nifty to see people score on full ban stuff. It's not something you really see that often. Amazing work here, everyone. Next one on the list is done by Evil Apple, with an arterial black first place on Guitar Hero 2. Guitar Hero 2 and 80s first places are extremely special, because it's a game that has been optimized so much that seeing a first place is very rare. And we've been seeing constant first places from multiple players. It's awesome to see this game get more love. And speaking of things that are optimized and not a lot of people know about, did you know that drums 
has squeezing. I had no idea about this until Chris Body ended up getting Visions Optimal on Rock Band 2, which has not been done before. He also got a couple of other first places and some other optimals. I'm not sure on these specifics, but it is pretty interesting to see scores done on drum charts. Next up is the first ever category. Starting off, we have a first ever Magnolia Drums FC done by Chris Body. Chris did this a while back, but off video, and he re FC'd this. And then shortly after, Ace Zero ended up getting the same FC. Awesome work to the both of you guys. Next up, we have a first ever Visions full band FC done on Rock Band 2. And this concludes that all songs have been full band FC'd on disc, which is pretty crazy to think about. It only took 15 years, but it's finally over. Amazing work here, everybody. Rock Band is finally dead. Next up, we have a first ever Pro Drums FC of Gypsy Rave Massacre, done by Chris Body. Congratulations on another first ever, Chris. Next category we turn to is the Nasty FCs category. Next up, we have a Modern Mathematics Guitar Drums Flipped FC, done by King Bryce 98 You don't see a lot of drum chart FCs, and this one does not disappoint. Absolutely disgusting. Amazing work here, Bryce. Next up, we have a Drums FC, done by Chris Body. The song in question is called Unfurling a Darkened Gospel which is a crazy drum chart. Just seeing the amount of complexity in this chart makes my toes curl. Amazing stuff here, Chris. And the last one on the Nasty FC's category is a Visions Base NTSC FC, done by me. This one took me forever to get past the bridge once. It is not friendly whatsoever on NTSC. Very, very happy with this one. Next, we have a Standing In Your Stuff FC done on Rock Band 3. Now this chart might not look very hard, but it has the same sort of rock revolution mechanic with a broken note in the chart. I don't want to go into the specifics, but Chris has an explanation video coming up very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Amazing work here, Chris. Next up, we turn to a body shaft of Full Band FC done by Team Tesco. This is the second time it's been done on Rock Band 2, and the first time it's been documented on video. Pretty sick Full Band FC to see. Next up, we turn to a Full Game FC speedrun of Rock Band 2 on drums done by Chris Body. This run took 9 hours and 30 minutes, which is pretty long for a speedrun, but considering the fact that Rock Band 2 has 84 songs, I'd say this is a pretty solid run, with a lot of opportunity to improve this time. Amazing stuff here, Chris. Next up, we have a Vox Full Library FC done on Rock Band 4, done by Hockey Pro. Now this one is crazy, because there are 3,072 songs to FC. That is a lot of charts. And to think, some of these songs can be longer than 6 or 7 minutes. Talk about being a completionist. And the last category on the list is stuff that was missed from last month. Again, we're a small team, and if we miss anything, please check out the Discord linked in the description. On to the accomplishment. And last but not least, we turn to Red, who tested his consistency on Treeverse on GH2 by FCing it every single day for the month of July. I find this one pretty interesting because you don't really see consistency challenges like this very often, and it's a skill set that's often overlooked. Awesome stuff here, Red. And that does it for the console scene. I'm your host, Steven. And thank you so much for watching.